I'm afraid I don't have any more uplifting news because the memorial service of the five children who died following the suspected food poisoning incident in Naledi is taking place in the local community hall this morning. The children who were aged just between six and ten years died within minutes of each other after consuming snacks allegedly bought from a local spaza shop which may have been contaminated. One child is the only survivor of that tragedy and we're told the little boy is still fighting for his life in ICU. Let's take you to the community. That's where we find SABC News reporter Lerato Makola, who joins us now live. And Lerato, um, again, difficult to be back in that community as well. Um, perhaps you can take us through what you've been able to see so far as people, I imagine, begin to arrive there. Uh, good morning to you, Ayanda, and the viewers at home. It is quite a somber moment here at Soweto in Naledi. From heartbroken families to uh, disgruntled uh, community members are demanding answers uh, from uh, after uh, children allegedly consumed uh, snacks that they bought from a local spaza shop, which is believed to be owned by a foreign national. While it is believed that the children fell ill shortly after consuming the snacks and um, when one of the parents in Jabulu's mother uh, narrated the story to us, uh, she told us that, that the children experienced uh, similar uh, symptoms. They felt dizzy, they felt tired, and they started uh, vomiting, and that's when they decided to take them to uh, the local clinics and hospital. And what we know now is that the investigations are still underway, and uh, the National Consumer Commission, the Gauteng Food Safety uh, Forum, together with environmental health practitioners belonging to the municipality, are uh, investigating the matter together with um, the police and we know that one child is still fighting for his life in hospital but for now I'm gonna step out of the shot so that my camera colleague um, Stelo can show you what's happening here as you can see that uh, there's traffic wardens there's police visibility and there's now lady CPF as you can see um, the community members are coming in and earlier on we saw children school children coming in and I saw some uh, political uh, parties we saw the African National Congress, uh, Umkonto Wesizwe, and Action SA, uh, they are here to support the families. So, well, Ayanda, we expect um, Houting MEC uh, for Education, uh, Matume Chilani, to come and support the families. So, well, we know that um, the program has been scheduled to start now at 10 o'clock, and we expect more people to start coming in. But for now, back to you in studio. All right, Lerato, thanks very much indeed for giving us that scene setter. We'll certainly be live inside the venue with you once that uh, official program gets underway. Uh, Lerato Magola is live to us there from the troubled community of Naledi, dare I add, after yet another week of uh, running battles between some community members and police in the week gone by in a context where, of course, the outrage spilled over into the streets. It's sadly a familiar sight for many community members there because around October last year, two other pupils you might remember died under almost identical circumstances and I imagine that's why in some instances uh, some of those residents are calling for a line to be drawn in the sand in order to prevent a repeat of this kind of tragedy in that particular area.